Hey everyone, Game of Perfection here, and welcome to another Moments of Perfection. Sorry about that little technical hiccup. Every time, it happens every time. Okay, so it's been quite a while since I did a vlog, but I am back to do this vlog. Um, this is a special one. Um, I am doing my very first unboxing video. I've never done an unboxing video before. Yes, I'm an unboxed virgin. Un unboxing. Unboxing. Okay, so today I'm going to be unboxing a dodo. Yes. I've been waiting weeks for this to arrive and I promised the uh, art guys that I would do an unboxing video. So here it is. Yes. Look at that. Fragile. Um, now, it's not a life-size dodo, because um, although I wasn't around in the 1600s, I'm pretty sure dodos were larger than this in real life. Um, this um, you can purchase from ARC through the ARC Community Forums. Um, I'll stick links all over the screen and in the uh, description below um, uh, from a company called Sandboxer.com. Um, uh, I, again, will add links in the description so that you can check them out because they do lots and lots of awesome uh, 3D models for various different games and stuff, so you should check them out. Um, but this is my dodo model so we're gonna open this bad boy up and get him out in fact I can hear him making a noise wow can you hear him oh he did a poop let's get him out before he makes a mess all right do it again Oh, let's put some, uh, uh, I probably already started it when I've uh, edited it, but let's put some uh, arc music on. Yeah, let's get in the spirit. Look at that strength. Okay, um, yeah, it's uh, a little bit tougher than I expected. Oh, look at this. Oh. Okay. Thank you for purchasing your 3D print from Sandboxer. Well, thank you for making it for or me. Um, I am going to go through um, the method of getting your own uh, print um, uh, after I've got this out because um, it isn't quite like going to a shop and buying a 3D model. Because when you go to a shop, you basically walk into the shop and you see the 3D model and that's what you get. This, you can customise it to um, the way you want it. Um, with some exceptions like colour, etc. But um, we'll get onto that. Okay, so uh, wow, look, look at these little things. There we go, look at that. I'm quite pleased to say that we didn't get a box the size of a house that had this in it. So uh, yeah, that was good. Let's clean all this up. Okay. Wow, look at that. If it's inside another box or another foamy thing, it's like parcel parcel. What did I say? Look at this. And get it out. Look at that. Another box. Okay. Right, it's got steps. Okay. There are a few important steps to follow to unpackage your print. Step one. First, push from the bottom of the box to pop out the shrink-wrapped foam cube. Okay, well, I pulled it out. I didn't um, push. Uh, two, remove shrink wrap. Take care not to move the foam layers. Okay, let's do this. I took care. Oh. Like too soon. Oh, I can see his head. I can see his head. Look, 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 look. Yeah. Okay. Got to follow these instructions, man. That's what they're there for. There we go. Okay, next step. Carefully remove the foam layers one at a time. Start from the top, work to the bottom. Very complicated stuff, this. Okay. Look at this. I'm going to turn him around so he's facing you. Actually, um, 
gonna hold it up because uh, you can't see it. Hey, look at that, you can see his head. Oh, that one's broken. Hey, look, oh man, I'm loving him already. Look at this. See, you can hear him making a noise. Now it splits because he's got a big ass. Look at his ass. Look at it. Yeah. There we go. Wow, he's quite heavy. Okay, there we are. Can you see it? Yeah. Look. Okay, so basically, <coughs> um, I'll show you on the screen uh, the process of making this. There's uh, various different um, dinos at the moment. Uh, off the top of my head, there's Argentavis, uh, Dodo, Spino, Direwolf, and I think there might be one other thing that I've forgotten, um, but I believe they are gonna be adding um, more creatures uh, to the collection um, from, from ones that are introduced into the game. Um, so it will be expanding. So, um, basically, uh, you've got a base here. Um, I've picked the grey base. So as you can see, on the front of the grey base, it says, I'm not sure if it's uh, in, uh, oh, there we go. It says, Ark Survival Evolved Early Access. Now there are different um, colored bases. Um, there's a lot more of them when I first ordered them. Uh, there's something like red, green, uh, yellow, blue, purple. Um, the difference with the grey one is that it says early access on, the other ones don't say early access. So the grey one is a limited edition um, and I believe that the uh, last date you can order the early access base is the 31st of January, which is tomorrow. So um, if you want one, you better get um, onto it straight away. At the back, you've got um, room for text. So we've got here, see it, it says, when it's focused, it's not focusing, but it says Game of Perfection. There we go, look at that, Game of Perfection. So you can customise the, um, the wording that you want in there. Um, and the awesome thing about this, as I was saying, when you go into a shop, if you see a model, you're basically buying, you get what you buy. Um, with this, you can customise the stance um, of your uh, dodo or the, whatever creature it is you're having. Um, so pretty much every order is gonna be more or less unique because um, it's not, I'll, I'll show you on the screen in a minute um, the process of doing it. But um, you've got different stance. Uh, you've got um, uh, laying an egg, um, startled, um, hurt, stuff like that. But it's not just you pick one of those, there's a slider on there so that it's got its actions. So this, um, I believe, um, if I remember correctly, was startled and it is slightly startled. So as you can see, his mouth is slightly open rather than closed um, and he's just starting to lift his wings up. Um, uh, that's the one that I chose um, rather than having his uh, wings completely against his body and his mouth closed. Um, also, they come in sizes. This is the small size. There is also medium and large. You'll see on the screen um, what the different sizes are and they um, vary in price uh, the, bigger, the bigger you order them. The one thing you can't customise um, is the colour. Um, there are standard colours um, and you've got to um, go with what they provide. Um, but apart from that, you can pretty much make it the way you want, which is awesome. Um, and I'm loving it already. Um, so I will quickly just um, show you where you can find these um, and the process you can go through to, um, uh, to order it. Okay, so here we are. We are on the ARC Community Forums. Um, on the goodies tab here, you've got ARC 3D prints. Uh, you've also got official ARC merchandise store where you can buy t-shirts and posters um, and game codes. Uh, but in the ARC 3D prints, you get to the 3D print shop. Um, it shows you some examples of um, various models that they have. Click onto the shop and this is where you basically start designing what you want. So you've got um, 
yeah, Raptor was the one that I missed. So Argentavis, Raptor, Dodo, Spinosaur, and Direwolf. If you want to customize one, just click on customize and you will see a large version of what you're ordering. You'll be able to turn it around and have a look at it. And then you go onto the base. So this is where you basically select the base. So down here it says um, early access base available until January 31st. It did actually say December the 31st, I think originally, and they um, increased it. So I'm not sure if that's gonna change again or not. Um, and then you've got yellow, red, purple, green, and blue. Okay, let's go with green as I like green. Um, and then you go to custom text, so get the uh, dodo butt out of the way, um, and you can basically type anything in this. I'm not sure if there's a, um, a character limit to it, um, but the more text you put in, the smaller your, uh, your letters do actually come out because it does squeeze it in. Um, but you basically create text and it adds it in there. So where have we got Mr. Dodo. Then you've got the pose, and this is the awesome bit. So you've got greys, startled, lay egg, and hurt. So we'll start with the first one, graze. You basically can move this along and see the different um, animations that you want it at. So if it was like this, you'd want you'd have oh, you'd have it like that. So you basically can change it to whatever you want. When you go for the laying the egg one. You've got the animation. The animation for laying egg is the same as doing a poop, so you could call it um, uh, doing a poo. But uh, as you can see, you can have it sitting down like that. I went for startled, and I believe I did it about here, I think. So they are quite unique because you don't just pick startled, you actually slide it along to, uh, to see what you actually want, and then you can move it around and have a look. So it's pretty, pretty awesome. Then after it's saved it, um, this is where you get to choose your size. So you've got the small size, which I picked, approximately 2.75 inches tall. Um, then you've got medium that goes up to 3.25 and a large that goes up to four inches tall. Um, and the price uh, goes up with it. And then you basically just order it and wait for it to come. It is really really easy to do so there we have it mr dodo look at that i'm so pleased with it it's really really nice um so if you have got your own um 3d art print um and um or you're ordering one um when you get it just uh feel free to tweet me uh, your pictures of it um, at Game of Fiction uh, and I will be happy to see them and I'll share them around. Also, feel free to tweet them to Survive the Ark as well um, and post them, uh, post images on the uh, Ark community forums because those guys are going to love to see uh, what you've ordered and your various uh, unique designs that you've picked and stuff. So uh, they'll love to see that sort of thing. So uh, there we have it. He is going to sit nicely in front of my monitor, so when I'm playing art, he's just going to be watching me constantly um, making noises. Well, no, he doesn't really make noises, at least he doesn't do poops. Not as much as the ones in game. So, um, there we have it. Okay, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I hope you uh, enjoy your own model, um, if you order one, um, and share those pictures around. Uh, so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.